Okay, pull into the uh, Onkapunga River National Park here, back of the Ulk. Okay, and I think we'll just go for a bit of a wander. Because I don't think to expect to see too much. So I'll just have a quick walk up this uh, corridor. As you can see, it's pretty dry. The rains will come between now and the third week of May, and it looks like there was a bit of a rain, rainy patch there. So maybe they've already had a little bit of rain in this area. But as you can see, it's already drying out. So maybe. If there were some late rains, maybe we should go and look for some utricularia flowers. Because <laughs> as we learned from the Mount Cumbus thing, uh, they were flowering in, um, when was that? Was, it, was that January or, or February this year the flower, they were in flower? I think it was February, wasn't it? Wasn't it around my birthday, some sort of time, wasn't it? Just before my birth or just after? I can't remember now. I'll have to go and look it up on YouTube. So, uh, you never know, it might be a, a yet undis, uh, undescribed species of utricularia that flowers at a really odd time of the year for some reason. No one's ever seen it because they're never here at this sort of time of the year. Because they're always waiting for the rains to arrive before they go and searching because they miss all the flowers maybe, you never know. I said the uh, the the one at Mount Campbell's was, was a dark purple form compared to the uh, Cleland form which is a pale one the, the old Adelaide form they used to bring into my kind of plant society meetings but uh, yeah the pools are dried out but it looks like they may have had a little bit of rain odd sort of rainage <laughs> precipitation uh-huh, and here's the old pool site, so, um, yeah, bone dry, but you never know, you might find another species of pygmy or something, some varia on the skin, you never know what you might find, coming at the wrong time, yeah, so that's how we discovered the polypomphalix at uh, Mount Bold, went looking at the, uh, for the glandulars really late, and uh, discovered that, you know, the poly 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 complex have been flowering there for eons, probably. <laughs> and uh, just never, never bothered to look so late in the year. Uh, just have a quick look through here. Listen out for snakes with the ears, not with the eyes. And, uh, yeah, moss is still dormant there. But, uh, yeah, this will start to change from the third week of... Uh, May onwards, and it will become like it's a normal resplendent self. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. It's always worth coming out of these places at odd times. You never know what you might find. Something that, you know, grows and flowers from a bulb, corn, or tuba under the ground, so, you know, it can grow at any time of the year if it really wants, because it's all powered by its food reserves. Uh, no, nothing there at the moment. But as you can see, I mean, it almost looks like it does during the growing season. It's just the ground is dry, basically. <laughs> uh, isn't that amazing? I mean, really, from all the other clips I put up, can you really see much of a difference apart from there are no sundews or any other uh, orchids growing and the ground is dry? During the growing season, it pretty much looks the same, except the ground is damp and the sun juice are growing and all the other bulbous cormus and tuberous plants are growing so you know they're, they're the really only only real differences really but uh yeah and of course as when you get into uh late august the end of the uh, get, getting towards the end of the season sort of thing you get that eerie gray sky orange sunlight sort of thing but I think that's about it for now. I don't think you really want me to go on much further, do you? I mean, it'll be a long clip and it'll take 
eons to upload onto YouTube. But if you must see it, there you go. Looks pretty green, doesn't it? But it's a really hard, gnarly green, isn't it? And you've got all these glaucus plants. You've got this glaucus casuarina. Tough as old nails. Most of the veggies, tough as old nails here. And what was that that's been flowering? Fairly recently. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I think that's over and out for now. I think I'm going to have my donut and my chocolate milk, um, iced coffee.